Hi, I'm Erica from MyCase. Let's look at importing your open and closed cases into your account. Adding cases is available to you no matter what tier your firm is a part of. To import cases, we need to download a template. We can do that by going to Settings and selecting All Settings. Then select Import Export. Next, we will click the Cases tab and select the Import Cases button. The next thing we will do is click here to download a sample. Now that we have downloaded the sample template, let's open it in Excel and fill it out together. The first column, case slash matter name, is the only header that needs to be filled out to successfully import your cases, but make sure to not delete any of the columns or their headers if you don't add information to them. All headings must stay on the file so this system can successfully import your data. Let's fill in a case name. It's important to note that each name needs to be unique. This is the same when you add a case to your MyCase account. The system does not allow duplicate case names. I will add sample case one as our first case name and then fill out the other columns. I'm going to put down one for number. For the open date, we can set this if we wanna know when we started the case. For practice area, we can customize this in our My Case account so you can add any practice area categorization. Let's add personal injury. For case description, let's add a description for this case. Next, let's move on to the case closed field. If we add true, this means that the case is closed. You can also add a closed date, but it is not required. The case is open if we add false or leave the field blank. If adding lead attorney or originating attorney, the names must match exactly the name of the respective firm owner in your MyCase account. For example, if I wanted to add a name like John Thomas Smith to your MyCase account, but forgot to add the middle name, it would not import correctly. This is the same as adding for both lead or originating attorney. The SOL date is related to your firm's statute of limitations. Outstanding balance can be filled in to denote a balance still due in this case. The case stage can be filled in based on the stages you have added to your account. In the settings section, you can edit, add, and delete case stages in your My Case account. The conflict check section marks if you have completed a conflict check. Add true if a conflict check is completed or false if one has not been done. For conflict check notes, you can add any notes related to this process. You can add any case notes you need for imported note one or imported note two. Both columns are optional and up to you whether you wanna fill out one, both, or neither with information. Once you complete filling out the fields, save the document, go back to my case, and finish the import. Click the Import Cases button to start the import. Once it is complete, you will see it has been added to the Import Export screen. If you're subscribed to the Pro Tier, your custom fields are also available in the template and can be filled in before saving the information in my case. If you wanna know more about importing custom fields for your cases, please review the Custom Fields Overview video or support article.